In this tip, I'm going to show you how to convert raw files into DNG. In my previous uh, two minute tip, I showed you how to find all the files in your uh, Lightroom catalog uh, that uh, still need to be converted to DNG. If you haven't seen that tip already, uh, do uh, take a look. The um, option should be somewhere up there. Uh, go and have a look at that one first. So let's assume you have found some files that you need to convert, either through the smart collection that I've shown you or because there is a folder you're aware of that needs converting. So here we are in Lightroom. You can see I've got the smart collection I created in the last tip highlighted, and that's found 10 files that all need converting. Now I could select all of them here by just pressing Control A. Uh, alternatively, if there was too many to do in one go, I could pick one image, right click on it and say go to folder in library and then just do one uh, folder's worth. In fact, in this case, there is only one folder's worth that needs converting. So I'm in the Oslo folder, I've clicked on the first one, shift clicked on the last, and that selects all of them. To convert them to DNG, I go up to the menu, select Library, Convert Photos to DNG, and that pops up a small dialog box. I only want to convert raw files, and I want to delete the originals after conversion. There's no point having both inside the catalog, side by side. Uh, you can choose either lowercase or uppercase file extension. I prefer lowercase, the you know, choice is entirely yours. For compatibility, I always go with the latest one. I've never had a problem with that. I keep my software up to date, so uh, Camera Raw 11.2 and later on that. Um, uh, JPEG preview, okay, medium size, no real advantage in going for the full size as far as I can see. So I stay with the medium size on there. Then of the three checkboxes, we definitely want to embed the fast load data. That allows Lightroom to, uh, to view the images quickly. Use, for loss use lossy compression. No, 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 no. And let me say that again, no. Uh, that will throw away a whole load of information. It will make the files a lot smaller, but you're throwing away precious data, so don't use it. Uh, embed original raw file. There's no advantage in doing that unless you're absolutely, totally paranoid. Uh, what that does is it effectively doubles the size of the DNG file for no um, advantage. I've never had need to go back to the original raw file after converting to DNG, so no point in selecting it. So having done all that, I click OK and the task kicks off. And we can see up here in the uh, progress bar, it's moving along. I won't wait you, make you sit through all that. I'll just fast forward the video at this point and uh, I'll come back when it's all done. So there we are, the conversion's completed. It took about 40 seconds to complete with those 10 files, uh, which isn't bad going at all. And um, so that's how you uh, convert your files uh, from raw to DNG. I hope you found this two minute tip useful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.